Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday 11th, Venus enters Gemini. Nice. I like I like anything that I like anything that enters Gemini, as the actress said to the bishop. Um, I feel like Venus in Gemini is quite freeing and it's quite chatty and conversations. Oh, someone's having a conversation over there. Conversations that need to be had get had. You know, things are quite um, fairly exchanged around. Oh, there's someone going around trying to sell internet to everybody today. They've already been to me, so I can sit back and relax. Well, I can see my neighbour across there. He's not going to get much change out of her. And he didn't. Oh. No. He's about to knock on the hotel as well. I'm not going to get far with that. Poor thing. He was actually very nice, to be honest. Anywho, right. Venus in Gemini. Chit chatty. Oh, yes. Very nice. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot. We're going very classic today. Very classic. Do I give that mm, 40 seconds? Didn't even get to 40 seconds. Now he's going for the hotel. No, he's not even bothering with the hotel. Uh, he's going for that one. Let's see. Must be a difficult job to be doing, actually. Oh, that's good. We had the devil yesterday, and now we've got it in... Re oh, yes. Okay, we'll take it. Overall energy, we've got the Two of Swords. Two of Swords, as you can see from here, we know that we're kind of a little bit... I don't even want to use the word stuck, though, because sometimes with the Two of Swords, you're not actually stuck. It's like a pause, and you don't know... As a human, you're like, I want this to move, I want this to happen, I want this... This is... You know, when you get in your... I'm a bit like that at the moment about something I'm waiting for. I'm a bit, bit hoity-toity, you know, where is it? well, I'm going to write a strongly worded email about it. You know, it's that kind of thing. Sometimes, and I need to say this to myself as much as I need to say it to you, sometimes it's not happening for the right reason. I know, I know, I know that whole everything happens for a reason. You're like, <sighs> yeah. Oh, I actually did a little growl. I did a little growl like the cats do. This is how angry I am. I growled. I did a throaty growl. Yes. Then we've got some very interesting cards, actually. So Venus in Gemini, and I like it when something like that happens and we get the full card, because I feel like there's a new beginning. There could be new conversation. There could be new topics to be had. You know, it feels very freeing. And also we're still in Aries territory and the Fool is like an Aries card. So there's a freedom. There's a freedom in speech. So you may um, be able to air your grievances. I think very much if you're having difficult conversations with somebody or there is a difficult um, patch, you know, like at work, maybe there's a thorny thing to be said or like yesterday's reading where, you know, you needed to talk about something, get something out in the air, that kind of thing, um, that that will be possible and that new beginnings can come from it and we can start something else. And it's like, yes. We like this. So we also have the page of pentacles in reverse, but I actually like this because it's quite um, mercurial in terms of Gemini, because when the page of pentacles is in the upright, we're quite happy to wait and we're quite kind of, eh, you know, it'll happen when it happens. I like the energy. I like the buzz of wanting something to happen because wanting something is nice. You know, the times when you kind of are feeling bad are the times when you don't want anything. You don't need anything, you don't want anything. And I don't mean that in a kind of Buddhist, I have detached myself from all material attachments, which is the idealistic state, isn't it? That is quite hard to reach in my opinion. But I, I'm talking about when you're feeling down and you're not interested, you're not interested in anything like, I'm not interested in doing that, I'm not interested in doing the other. 
and that's not a nice feeling. So I like that the Page of Pentacles is a bit, ooh, when's it happening? I want it, I want it, I want it. And then also Venus in, Venus? Venus in Gemini, yeah, Venus, oh my God, Venus in Gemini, um, with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Well, that's nice because the Nine of Pentacles is the single happy person card. And me as a reader, when I get the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I really like the feeling of a surprise relationship or a surprise companionship or a surprise you're not aloneness. That's what it is. It's like you thought you were gonna be alone, you're not gonna be alone. Hurrah. Now next to it, old glittery chops himself. There he is, I know. How long does it take him to get ready in the morning? Be a, a real like spray and separate. Tsst. Tsst. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, he's in reverse. And we like him in reverse, as the actress said to the bishop, because the devil represents chains, things you're tied to, things you can't get out of, toxicity, patterns and a bit of angst and it's in reverse and the chains kind of slip off and next to him look you see we've got the five of cups in reverse and when you get the five of cups in reverse as well the misery and everything kind of washes away so i like that too i like it very much indeed okay I'm going to do one of these amazing affirmators. I've got a love one as well, actually. Maybe we have a love one. Where did I put them? Show yourselves affirmators. Because, you know, when Venus is doing something, we ought to do a love thing. Oh, look, and the love ones have got, oh, isn't that nice? They've got pink writing. I'm so easily pleased. Oh, look, they have more. There we go, if you're up for those. Treat yourself with 20% off. There you go. Um, I don't know if that will do that, by the way. It might do. Who knows? So, okay, those are the different ones they do. There's a sweary one. Where is it? I have to put my reading glasses on if I can even find them. No, they're not there. I've only got 15 pairs. No wonder I can't find them. Anyway, there they are. Have a look go and check out their website because I think they're a fairly small operator I'm not sure right so these are the loved ones appreciate affirmators love and relationships that's really nice isn't it Is that cool? oh yeah shiny shiny and purple as the actress said <laughs> I'm sorry this is, I'm in one of those moods today and this is just turning out to be one of those readings, isn't it? Okay, behave Gemma. Oh, for God's sake. Well, this kind of feeds into yesterday. Boundaries. How often do we get this? This has been like the last three weeks and some of the monthly readings, especially Taurus, um, have been boundaries, diddly boundaries. They've just come up right, left and center. I claim my right to set healthy boundaries and I allow others to do the same. Sometimes personal space is taken and sometimes it's given. And sometimes if you're on the subway, it's completely disregarded and shamelessly invaded. I guess it depends on the day. And I think, is that a skunk? Cozying up to this person on the subway. <laughs> oh dear. So boundaries are the order of the day. And I'd say that with Venus in Gemini, boundaries are probably something you could talk about. It's more verbal, okay? Because it makes it more verbal. But also with Gemini being so mutable, somebody could really talk you round or attempt to talk you round, you know, or um, just do it that way. It just, you know, like, how am I putting this? Manipulate you verbally. There you go. I've actually managed to get the words out of my mouth. These, by the way, are kind of like that. I'm not that keen. I would have preferred a flip box, but there you go. That's my only feedback. The rest of it's brilliant. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.